Now let's take a look at creating a brand new hyperlink that links to one of your internet options. All right, so let me go ahead and make some room on the screen here. You can do that in one of two ways. You can go up to the author ribbon, go to hyperlink, and select your template. Or you can go up to this insert area, select insert hyperlink. When you do that, it gives you a list of all of the hyperlinks that are already in your library in alphabetical order. Notice here there's also a new button. So you can also create new hyperlinks from here as well. So let's go ahead and create a new hyperlink. Let's say we want to go to www.authorit.com. So I'll just go ahead and put that in the description so that it's easy for my authors to recognize what this is a hyperlink to. Now in my hyperlinks tab area, I'm going to disregard the top box because that is used for making topic to topic links. Instead, I'm going to go down to the bottom of the screen here to the second box, click Add. And when I do that, it starts me off with a URL. And all I have to do is finish it. So A-U-T-H-O-R-I-T.com. And if I'd like an alt tag associated with that URL, I can enter that here. Author at Software Corporation. And hit OK. All right, so if you notice, wherever I had my cursor is where that new hyperlink object was placed. So let's actually move that guy. I'm going to highlight, cut. Let's go ahead and put that on a new line. There we go. All right, so that's what an internet URL link looks like. Now I'll show you one more type of link here. Let's go ahead and hit that insert hyperlink. We'll click new again. And let's create a mail to link. You may find that you will use these in your HTML projects as well. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. Let's go to our hyperlink text area. All right, internet URL area, we'll click add. Now instead of our HTTP, what we want to type in is mail to kcarter at authorit.com. Let's put in an alt tag here, email Kendra Carter, and hit OK. All right, so when this link publishes, it will publish with a mail to link so that when the user clicks it, it will open up their default email editor and start a new uh, email for them.